Swag team, we are the swag team. It's all about the swag team. Swag team, salute. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that, y'all. A little cough right there. Listen, today's video, we're going to talk about the stimulus package update, guys. Yes. I know you guys are ready to get another round of this stimulus package. And I'm going to tell you the nicest way possible. Don't worry. It's coming. Don't worry. I got you guys. Don't worry. But first things first, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share the video, y'all. You know when you like it, it goes up to the YouTube algorithm, and then we can get popping. Everybody know about the swag team. That's what it's about, y'all. We got to... Grow this bad boy, man. We almost had 800. Shout out to everybody that's subscribing, liking the videos, commenting on the videos. I appreciate you guys. We gotta grow this bad boy up some more. Road to 1K, we almost there. All right? So, now, let's get into juicy stuff. We all know back in March, uh, over 100 million people got their $1,200 stimulus package. That was the first one. Okay. Now, obviously, over 36 million people got laid off. That's not enough to help everybody with their bills. Now, there was and there still is unemployment. The government is giving an extra $600 uh, to every American that files for unemployment and gets approved. Okay. So it's the unemployment rate, whatever that is. I think 275 to 300 or more plus the 600 dollars on top of that from the government so if you are, are, are unemployed i would suggest i would suggest you go ahead and file for unemployment because i know that they're going to take it away in july which is next month well basically next month it's almost june so got about a month and a half before they take it away unless they do it extended now that's possible they may extend it um, and then if they do that, you guys can keep on going. Now, when it comes down to this stimulus package, round two, uh, there's been a lot of different um, proposals, okay? From the House, Democrats, and also the Republican side, okay? Just in case you guys don't know how it works is, let me explain it to you guys, okay? First and foremost, when, when a bill gets proposed, it goes first to the House, okay? The House of Representatives, which in this case is a Democratic Party, okay? Next, after that gets approved, whatever that is, they'll go ahead and send it over to the Senate. Now, the Senate is a Republican Party. So, you know, their, their views are different, guys. I mean... Some, the, 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 the Democrats want a lot more for the people. The Republicans, more for, you know, big corporations, big businesses. You know, obviously they are for the people too, but not so much as the Democrats. Um, now, right now it's in that stage where the House already passed the bill, guys, for second round. And what they proposed is, you know, basically $1,200 for every American. Okay. Uh, with a, a co of course, a lot of stipulations in in that bill. It was eighteen hundred pages. So, and there was a few things that the Senate and the Republicans did not like in that bill. So, right now, it's looking like the bill is going to go over to the Senate. The Senate is going to go ahead and look into it, and you know, revise it if they like it. If they don't like it, they'll they'll create a whole new bill, right? So this could take, this this could take could take some time, guys. This could take a few weeks before we see anything, or if it, anything passes. All right. Now there was another bill that was proposed from um, uh, a Senate, uh, a governor, and also another Senate member, and it was two thousand dollars a month for Americans. Now they haven't came to anything with that. That's only been proposed. They haven't um, made any bills for that. 
So it's just in the air, all right? And that would cost around four to six trillion dollars if we did that. So they're not, the government is trying to limit the money and not try to spend over one trillion. Because for the first, the first bill that passed for the first round of stimulus checks was what? Almost three, or is it maybe three, a little bit three, three or, or close to three trillion. So they're trying to minimize that and not spend that much more money. You know, they want to spend the money, obviously, but not that much more. Okay. So right now it's in the testing phase. Um, and the government is doing a beta test where they're sending out uh, 4 million prepaid cards to, I guess, random people. I'm not sure how they're picking the people. They're sending out prepaid cards um, to see if this is going to be the best option to send out the next round of stimulus checks. So 4 million people have gotten their, um, you know, their, their, their prepaid cards. The only issue is, is how the government is sending it out, they're sending it out in a weird spam looking envelope, right? So when you, when you open up this envelope, some people, you may say, oh, I don't, I don't want this, but you should check it because that's your prepaid card in that mail. Um, and you know, that, 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 that has the money on it basically. And don't be afraid to open it guys and use it because what's happening is a lot of people are, um, to, you know, talking about you know stealing this and identity theft, this and that. But when you get the card, you have to activate it, right? And when you call in to activate the card, basically what's going on is they're asking you for your name, your address, and now they're asking you for six digits of your social, not four, but six. So they're keeping it extra safe, guys. So don't worry, if you're a part of that beta phase for 4 million people getting that debit card, it's just a testing phase. They're trying to figure out if it'd be better to send out debit cards instead of only sending out, you know, checks and, and direct deposit, okay? So that's where we are now. Um, also, there was a proposal for a um, $450 a week proposal to those who go back to work. Uh, it looks like they're trying to get everybody to go back to work and open up back the country. So basically now that proposal is you go back to work, they're going to add on 450 to your checks. So I'm not sure of the stipulations. It could be for only people that are not working right now and who are going back, or it could be for everybody. So we'll see. I'll have more information for, for you guys for that soon. But that's what's going on right now as far as when it comes to um, the stimulus checks. Um, me personally, how I feel, another round of 1200 would be cool. Uh, obviously, the 2000 a month is probably out the window. That percentage chance is probably like 5%. And the 450 a week, I'll take that too. Actually, that's better than getting a stimulus check for 1200 because... 450 a week is the extra 900 every two weeks, 1800 every month. There you go. Give me a couple, you give the people a couple rounds of that, we're good. You know, so instead of one time 1200, it's going to go away fast. So I say the 450 every week for those who will go back to work or, or, or who are working is the best option for the people right now. Okay. Now, it wouldn't be fair for those who lost their job and can't get a job right away. They wouldn't be able to qualify. So, you know, maybe the 1200 is a good thing for everybody. But like I said, right now, the Senate's on a mini vacation. Vacation. <laughs> so when they're done, they'll get back to the office and see if they can pass this bill. Now, once the Senate passes the bill, guys... It go back over to the house. They look over it, come together, make their decision, and then the last step is the president has to sign it. So once the president signs it, it becomes law, right? And then once that happens, boom, we'll get our stimulus checks, guys. All right. So don't worry, I'll keep you updated. 
with all the stimulus information that comes out. And, um, you know, I got, I got the information, guys. I got the scoop. People tell me I work with the IRS. I don't. Okay. <laughs> when the first one came out, I was the first person to post it on social media in my area. And it, it, it had like over a thousand shares because it was, it was big news. But nobody believed me until it happened. So don't worry, guys. I got your back. Swag Team Salute. And don't forget to share, subscribe, and like this video. Share it because a lot of people need to know this information about the stimulus package. All right, guys? And, um, yeah, man, I'll see y'all a little bit. Next video coming probably Monday. I'm going to take off this weekend. I'll upload another video for you guys Monday, man. All right, so have a good weekend, and I'm out. Peace.